Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are back to Super Mario 64, getting 100 coins this time in Dire Dire Docks. I'm not looking forward to this. Like I said before, there's a very, very precise amount of coins in this particular one. And, uh, you pretty much need to get every single one of them. In Super Mario 64, when you went up to this section, there were actually some little water dweevils, or whatever water dweevil is this, Pikmin? No, uh, whatever water sliders those things are, there are actually like three of them up there, and there are some coins alongside the edge, to make it easy to get 100 coins. Not so much in this one. This one here, of course, has a little cool current that pulls you in. Plenty of rings of coins here, which I'll save for later to restore my health. Some coins down here, but essentially you want to gather every coin that's possible and to grab. Even if they're really deadly to get. You kind of have to somewhat let the thing guide you up to the top. But uh, don't let, don't get sucked in. And it's not like this is the only spot where you have to worry about coins like that. Like I said, there's actually one spot in the other section that you pretty much have to... What, what, what even happened there? Like kind of like pull me down to the bottom for some odd reason. I'm not even sure what went on there. Nope, nope. Come on. Alright, let's see. Anything else alongside the ground here? I know there's a lot of uh, polygon pop-in or whatever in this because they can't actually program much ahead of it. So there's that. Uh, I think I pretty much got all of them. I'm just going to go swim up here to the top and see if we can find anything when I go back down. But I'm pretty sure I got everything I could in here for the most part. Come on, Mario. It's not that hard. There we go. Perfect. Uh, yeah, pretty sure I, uh, pretty sure I got everything. As long as I don't go inside that whirlpool, I'll be fine. Now I need to get these coins that are here. This is always fun, too, because you have to kind of swim in kind of like a 3D space. You can't just, like, get them all in one go. It's kind of fun to a interesting degree. All right. Come on. Get these coins. Because coins somehow restore your uh, water supply. That's, that's also very interesting, too. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. I guess I'll find out shortly, won't I? Either way, time to go up to the second section. I got 37 coins so far. It's so making some good progress here, about a third of the way there. And, uh, yeah, it could be a lot worse. Now, the first coins I'm going to get in this next section are the ones that bother me the most, because it's the one that has the most risk of grabbing, which we actually need for 100 coins anyway. Those ones will be over here, next to that pit of darkness. And uh, that could pick, that could pull you right in if you go inside that too close to it. You could actually go outside into the. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, come on. nope. Hurry, I can't see, I can't see. No, no. Uh. And it brings you back out here. Yeah.
Okay, try this again. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, come on, camera, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, good, good. Now escape, escape. Come on, quickly. Quickly, Mario, you got this, you got this. Got a, got a tight grip of the future, come on. Alright, so yeah, I got those coins, thank goodness, I don't have to worry about those anymore. Oh yeah, you can also restore your health there. There's also some coins down here which I need to grab as well. There's also uh shell down here if I'm not mistaken. No, nope, nothing in there. Could have sworn there were some coins in here. Maybe that was just in the uh oh there they are. There's a shell in case I need it, I don't really need it. Of course you need to get these coins as well. And now we are at 50. So we're halfway there. All right. So now we just need the ones at the top, which is not the big of a deal. All the rest of them are very simple to get because there's no more like death areas. We could just fall in water and have to start this whole thing over again. I believe there's, nope, stop. All right. Are there any coins over here? Yes, yes there are, I wasn't crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that switch again and actually head our way back up so we can actually go along the pillar things. But if you notice here, the Bowser sub is still not there even if you choose the first star in this stage anymore. Bowser sub is gone permanently. Oh well, them's the breaks, I suppose. We wait for this one, and then over here. Oh, there's nothing over here. That's right, that's actually the next spot that actually brings over the blue coins. So, hooray! Pretty sure I'm in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And now we just play the waiting game. Waiting so long for things to take place and events to happen. All right, I'll just, I'll just wait for you to come back, that's cool. It's all good, I have nothing better to do. Why not? It's all good. All right, gotta aim myself just right. You actually see that star just still there in the middle of the water for some reason, and oh, that! Whoa, I, I, I could have sworn I wasn't gonna time that correctly, but whatever. Let's get these coins. We're at 93, and we have four red coins to get. Yep, let's see. So, if we get that last, uh, those last three, it'll give us just enough for a hundred coins. Yeah, they're uh, pretty precise about you getting all of them in this one. Maybe there are some I forgot about, but I'm pretty sure I remember this one being very particular in the coins you get. Very particular indeed. But regardless, it doesn't matter. We come on. There we go. And I think it's gonna pull up next to me. Does. Alright. Get this coin right here. Ninety-seven coins. And I have to wait for the stupid timing thing to actually line itself correctly because apparently it doesn't do that by default for some reason. It doesn't have a timer just like... There we are. Perfect. And then finally with this last coin we have a hundred and one. So we had 
literally one coin to spare on all of that. Yay! I'm gonna take a look around to see if there are any more coins that I missed. And uh, maybe there are. Maybe there are some down here. Nope, not that I can see. I'm pretty sure you had to get pretty much all those coins and make 100 coins in this level. And so yeah, this is probably one of the most annoying ones to get that in. Anyway, let's just exit out of here. Oh wait, can I not exit underwater? I guess can't. You know what? I think I'm going to intentionally go in this death place over here and just exit out that way. If I can't just exit out the water normally. We. You actually keep your life that you actually had before you actually went in there. So that's kind of interesting. Oh well, let's move on to the next place, which will be in the... Now we could go into the, um, uh, the upper place that I forget the name of for some reason. Let's go there. Alright, let's see. What places will be quick that I could finish up pretty quickly? I know Tall Tall Mountain could get done relatively easy, surprisingly. Uh, I think the hardest one is going to be Wet Dry World, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just do Tall Tall Mountain first, and then could get through this one pretty quickly. Pretty much, the best thing to do is just to actually go to that one spot that I showed you with the slide, and go there. I could just skip past all this, and just go in the slide. So far, I'm probably going to be able to do that, just that. I'll just get all the rest of the coins later. Although, I guess, because I don't... The thing is, if you get too many coins now, and you go on the slide... The, sl the actual star will appear on the slide itself, and you kind of have to slide back. Which was super annoying in Super Mario 64 for the DS, because, like I said, that gate was blocked off, and you couldn't do anything about it. It's like, oh, well, I guess I'll just reset the level then, because I can't go back at all. Yeah, that was, that was always fun. By the way, I'm not going to worry about too much about the coins right now. I'm just going to try to get to the... Wow, I don't even know what happened there. What? I'm like trying to do a move and I actually hit one of them in the meantime that actually prevents that from happening. All you guys, yep, just gonna skip past you. Just gonna go on the slide. We, nope, nope, whoa. We, there we go. Grab these and voila. All right, I'm gonna go grab these coins in the, wait, there are no coins on the side in this one. That's right, all right, cool. There's also one up over there, which you probably saw. We Getting coins on slides is fun. I'm not sure why they actually, you know, prevented... Oh, yeah, that's right, because if you actually timed it just right, you actually fall down into the pit to grab the star that way. But they went about that kind of the wrong way to get that star. They could have found other ways to, you know, block that off. Like, maybe put a ledge or something? I don't know. Point is, either way... Just go down here, get all these coins. Look, we're already at 50, 55, 56. We already have all kinds of coins already. Cool. And... Yep. Ow. I could get that one up, but I don't feel like it. I'm just going to restore my health, though. That was some kind of weird sprite glitch I just saw right there. I don't know what that was, but whatever. not going to worry about it too much. I'm not even going to bother with pretty much the red coins on the mushrooms. They could just... I don't even care about them at all. Okay. Let's be careful with this. Grab the box. Grab it just right. Whee! And now we're already at 79 coins. So I will say this. In Super Mario 64 DS, like I said, this star was a lot harder to get. More so just annoying to get. I ended up still going on the slide, but having to, like, kind of backstep a bit to actually get the coins or get the star. Those coins could just die. I'm not going to worry about those right now unless I absolutely need them, which I know for a fact I do not, so therefore I'm not going to bother. Uh, I could go on this place here. I could worry about these. These things are going to explode. But, rather, I'd rather just throw you. And get coins that way. Look at all these coins you could get. Yay, we're already at 85 coins. So that being the case, I'm going to go over here and get the red coin spot now. Assuming the camera will be able to work with me. Oh, that's right. It'll be fine because I won't have to actually jump to some random mushroom which I can barely see because I can't adjust the camera well enough to actually get it. But whatever. The camera is still terrible by all means, but 
Still, nothing really too awful. Ah, okay, come on, just wanna get that red coin up there. Perfect. And now we can play a little climbing game to get these coins. Those stupid moles are gonna try to bounce me off. But, doesn't matter, I got all of them. Ah! I was gonna be super mad if you actually managed to knock me off the edge. <laughs> that would have been annoying. I still want some coins though. Coins will be nice. I need six more actually. So I don't need too many more, so that's fine. I could deal with six. I could definitely deal with six. Six is fine. Whee! Alright. I was gonna backflip up here because I don't feel like doing a somersault or anything. It's because I have pretty terrible aim, unless I'm trying to mess up terribly. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna skip past you guys. I believe there's a much better string of coins up ahead. Not here, but up ahead later. Like, right there, for example. And there should be one last coin I could get over here. There we are. Several coins, actually. Ta-da! Good job, Mario. Yes, I want to save, and now I'm going to go and exit the course. Do you have time for one more? Eh, mm, I'm trying to think. Let's see, what other, what other ones do I have around here? There's Tiny Huge Island. There's... I did spend a lot of time in uh, the first area, Dire Dire Docks. But Dry World, that might take a little bit of longer. Uh, how about Cool Cool Mountain? Yeah, that one should be fine. Or... Uh, Snowman's Land. That's that's the name of this place. There we go. As long as we go in the igloo, we'll be completely fine. Shell shut in for red coins. Before anything else, we have this guy to ground pound. And get plenty of coins from. Yay! All right. Let's see. Camera. Where where's the coins? No, stop. I could just kill all these guys for three coins. In fact, it probably works out better. Ow. Because, uh, guys are gonna kill me. However, you do go pretty slowly this way. However, you'll notice one thing. If you get really close to them, you'll notice you probably just, like, kinda get your way up here. Come on, get over here. Whee! However, you're actually pretty close to a spot over there to do that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I, f I forget what exactly that does. Some kind of sequence breaking or something. Hey, what's up? You're kind of like Mr. I, except you, you know, throw things at me every so often. Come on, I just want you to die, please. No, wait, never mind. I not gonna worry about it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the pain I'm gonna get of this. There's some wind there randomly, so that's interesting. I'm gonna get a red shell so I can actually get all those red coins in there and get a lot of other coins too. One thing annoying is that a lot of the coins you have to get is actually from these guys, and well, they do that whole spinny thing, and that's kind of annoying. Because it kind of wastes so much time trying to get them. It's like, okay, cool. Can I get the coins, please? Thanks. Appreciate it. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to worry about those right now. I want to see how many I can get in the igloo first. Whee! And, of course, the shell is right here. Come on, Mario. Speed things up. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. How about that snowman? Can I... Can I get the red coin? There we are. You know what? Forget it. That snowman can just die. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Ah! I... You know, I, I saw a thing up in the air, and I kind of almost fell for it. But at the same time, I obviously didn't. So, um, I don't think that thing actually responds either. So, I might have to actually start this over again. To actually get in that igloo. I'm pretty sure there's another way of me getting there. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is. Let me see what I could do here. Alright, so let's try this again. Let's after killing the little money bag guy. Let's go grab these coins in here. Ignore you. And let's just go around so we can actually head to the igloo. 
Let's go over here and we look at all these coins leading up to it. So many coins. And then we can just crawl in here. I like how you can just do a little boing thing and, well, it's like inst they instantly die. It's kind of funny. And how is that even possible? Whatever, not gonna question it, I guess. I mean, it also doesn't make much sense how the coins could somehow spin in the inside them as well, but whatever. So let's just go ahead and try to get that vanish cap, which is over here, which we have. Stupid Goombas. Alright. Let's see. Let's go over here. And then. If we could just adjust the camera a bit, I could actually see stuff. Alright. Look at all these coins you could get in here. Yay, we had 72. Anything in here? Coins and and one up. All right, let's go exit out of this, and let's actually just vanish our way back. If I could just camera, what? There you are. All right, so I only need uh, let's see here. I need 19 more coins after this. So let's go ahead and use a little vanish cap to get ourselves out of here. Because I can't really see anything very too well. I can see why they kind of maybe possibly removed this particular section from the 3DS or the DS version. But still, they could have easily tweaked that. Alright. Let's get to pop ourselves back out here and we're back out here. Pretty much all those guys are already dead. And I'm not worry about those guys. These guys, however, I could kill and get three coins from. Come on, just land already. Land. Oh, hey, what's up, Mr. Shy Guy? Or Fly Guy, rather. There's a difference there, I guess. I like that little boink sound it makes, too. I found that amusing. We All right, we're at 86. We're almost there. We're almost to our goal. We're so close. Almost there. We. Oh, apparently you could kill him on the way down using your little spin. That's an interesting little thing to note. Hmm. That could have been helpful late earlier. I killed you! Haha! -ha. Alright, five more coins. Which am I gonna bother killing you guys for? I know where I can get my last coins at. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Because the last coins we can just get right up here. One. Two. Oh, I was I was too off. I could have thrown a line of coins there somewhere. Oh well, my memory is clearly clearly bogged. No big deal. Let's find another one of those little uh, guys to kill. It should be around here somewhere. There should be at least one of them to kill. Well, actually, there is in the water, obviously. Is there anything in here? Just the one up. Okay. You, however, have plenty of coins to spare. Where are they? Okay, there's one. I don't know where the other... Ah! Come on. Nope. Just get the star. Get the star! There we are! Yes, I want to save! Alright, so let's exit the course. So yeah, that should be it for this episode. So next time Super Mario 64, we'll be finishing up the little top area, the top floor. And then we'll be going into the tower area. See you guys then!